This lip oil is seriously showing up today, wow. Um, welcome to a day in my life, again. It's gonna be a slightly random one. I've got my first ever casting today, which is very exciting. And I've got a few other chores and stuff I need to do. So I just thought I'd bring you with me. So let's crack on with this day. I feel like annoyingly, a lot of my videos are always gonna have some element of food shopping in them because I did put this off from yesterday. I didn't think, oh, I'll save it. This vlog was A, a bit spontaneous, and B, I wasn't feeling very well yesterday. I've been kind of going through it a little bit in terms of my health. I don't know what's up. Um, I'm getting some blood tests done. I need to do a food shop. I've got half a list. But you know when you go to the shops and you just don't want to forget anything, so I don't want to have to go back. Um, there are some things that I definitely do need, like cinnamon. But I also had no breakfast, so I'm kind of doing this. I'm still kind of in that post dinner, can push through a little bit. So I need to go to the shop before I start getting hungry and then I start buying more random stuff I don't need. So I need to, I need to go. Um, this weather. Okay, so picked up the goods, spent way too much on things I don't really need, but we're good, set one of the day done. The light just give it a try, no. So much green. That spark out, even it's toasty. So, did it. Got some fresh flowers because my roses, they've seen better days. So, oh my god, so there's a box in this bag that keeps like crunching and I keep thinking it's my eggs. So I'm just praying that all my eggs are okay. We're good. The eggs are safe. But yeah, so I genuinely thought the whole way home, like I had to keep stopping. Oh my God, it is hot today. It's not been 20 degrees in England for a long time. So I am sweaty. I've just carried two heavy bags. Right. So plan of action now. Food away, jump in the shower, wash my hair because of said casting later, I need to wash my hair because it's all greasy. And then breakfast. After that, we will, we will break up. I'm watching Bridgerton again. I will break my fast. <laughs> slightly more boring bit of my day um just got a lot of admin to do really so i'm going to check my to-do list that i wrote earlier um take minutes
I'm so bored, but I managed to get all of my jobs and stuff that I've done so far this year onto new spreadsheets, it's a new tax year. And it just occurred to me that um, I have a massive bone to pick with the British education system in multiple ways. Don't get me started on our physical education um, curriculum. But I don't know how to do my taxes. I don't know, I'm gonna have to ask my dad. It's gonna be the most random day vlog. The nerves are starting to set in a little bit for the casting I have later. I think it's just because it's my first one. Now when I have job interviews, I don't get nervous because I've been to so many job interviews. But I guess I'm going to try and see this like a job interview. But I thought I would show you what I, else I've been doing this morning. Um, this isn't my iPad, it's Ben's. And if you're wondering who Ben is, that is my boyfriend. Um, I don't have an iPad. I just have my laptop and my phone. I don't need an iPad. But seeing as this is my first casting, a lot of models will either have their books. Actually, let me go sit on the couch and I'll explain this to you better. We know this couch. Uh, so what I was saying is when models go to castings, you'll often be told what kind of thing to wear or what kind of, like if you have to bring anything in particular. So for example, today it's for an activewear company. So I've been told to bring just in case like a matching set, just in case they want to see me in activewear. And you can kind of gauge as well when it comes to castings what kind of so if it's more high fashion you usually take a pair of heels that you change into and you wear a pretty neutral outfit which i'll show you later but in terms of like other prep you can do for casting so i've looked up the brand i've looked up like i've looked at their website i've looked at some of the poses they've got going on the kind of vibe the models are giving off i've been practicing in the mirror it's what you do you've got to practice you don't just rock up and know so you've got to practice because you also need to know what looks good on your body because you want to show them the best of yourself. It's like an audition or a job interview. Like you want to show them the best. Like you don't go to a job interview having not researched the company. So why would it be any different for a casting? Um, and I'm also going in with the expectation of not getting it. Not because I'm a negative person, but because it's my first one. And I mean, it would be incredible if I did get it but it's my first casting. I'm actually going just for the experience more than anything else. So, and it'd be exciting. Um, so this is what I'm taking with me. You take your, most agencies will give you a little tote bag. Well, they give you pay for it, but <laughs> give you a little tote bag. And where I was going with the iPad. So models will either take an iPad with their book on it, or they'll have an actual physical book. So the reason I'm using the iPad today and not my book, oh, and comp cards. So you get given these, again, you pay for them by your agency, but they'll put them together for you and print them off. Um, so I'll have a photo of you with your name on it, and then it will have your stats on the back. Mine actually, this is actually wrong, which is not ideal, but they're right enough, but they're just a little bit off in places. But yeah, so I'll have your stats, photo of you, and you give this to the client so they know who you are and they'll remember you. It's super important actually comp cards but yeah you should have a book with all of your like best images in i haven't gotten around to printing mine off yet because i haven't had a casting but after today they are getting printed but yeah so you can take either that your like physical book or nowadays a lot of models have ipads because your book can change really frequently and regularly and you've got to stay on top of it in terms of printing or you can take an ipad which has i've just downloaded all of the images onto it and so you can, let's turn the brightness up. Oh, it's all the way up. So this is, you know, my book with all the images of me on it. I need to clean the screen. But yeah, so it's got all the photos from my book along with a couple of extras I just really like of myself. Um, and then I've also downloaded my digi, like my just plain digis onto there just in case at the end. And yeah, so you get, like you hand this over to the client, they'll look through your book it should be all good. So today it's for active wear. So I'm going to wear trainers there. I'm not going to take heels because you don't, if I need heels, I will genuinely be flabbergasted, but I'm going to wear trainers, something slightly more trendy to fit the vibe. And yeah, I'll show you my outfit later. But in the meantime, I'm going to make some lunch, chill for a little bit, try and calm myself down and I'll see you in a bit. Okay. So I didn't end up eating lunch because I'm too nervous. But this is what I've gone with for the outfit. I'm not wearing heels, but I'm wearing my platform docks because they make my legs look longer than they are and just tucking my pocket in i've got my skinny jeans black tank it's got a little back showing but yeah so i figured shoes over because i do have these but they're so dirty and ratty 
so they don't really have and they don't really look right they make my legs look shorter than they are when you know when you're a petite model you need a little help you can get so i figured flat docks just because they're a bit edgier but they're not like you know grim so yeah sit waiting for my fringe to dry and just like hold itself up for some volume it's going about 15 minutes and i'm very nervous but yeah i'll let you know how it goes so let's go let's go did it got to meet loads of other models which was so nice because i haven't met a load of them in person yet so it's all good fingers crossed but yeah it was lovely they just asked me about myself and things like that and then i walked for them given my card got like a bit of adrenaline -y. i just got run some errands so i'm gonna go to boots drop a camera off to get developed and yeah and buy some shampoo <laughs> i know riveting stuff isn't it Okay, so I just got home, um, the casting was good, met loads of the other models of the Shador, which was so nice. Um, I don't know how it went, they could love me, they could hate me, it's nothing personal really, I didn't insult any of them, so hopefully <laughs> it was fine. I made them laugh, and I did my best, I mean I was super nervous and I still need to practice my walk, but otherwise it was good. Um, I've put my trackies on, and now what I'm going to do is, I'm probably going to go for a walk a little bit later, as if it doesn't start chucking it down, but I feel like I need to get some extra energy out. I listen to a podcast, it's one of my favourite things at the moment. I've been obsessed with the Skinny Confidential, so I've been listening to that a lot recently. Um, and yeah, so I think I'm just going to chill for the rest of the day. Like, still do admin and emails and things like that, but nothing, nothing extreme. Just got all my chores done. Hot by Boots, picked up a new shampoo and conditioner that I'm very excited to try. And yeah, look at the rest of my to-do list. I think now it's just like laundry and like the not fun bits that no one really cares about. So yeah, should be should be a chill rest of the day. Hello. Um, it feels like I'm on to my thousandth outfit change of the day, but it's about six o'clock. Just gone to, oh, it's nearly 10 past six, wow. Um, and I'm just gonna go walk on a treadmill downstairs because I've still got some energy and I'm not hungry, hungry for dinner yet. Add some toast about an hour ago so I'm a bit like roll but it keeps like chuck it's like spitting and it keeps going on and off and no Manchester it could downpour at any minute so I'm just kind of gonna hedge my bets and just go walk on the treadmill and there's only one working treadmill in my gym so there's gonna be no one on it if there's someone on it I will be mad and then I'll have to come back upstairs and get a jumper and then go outside so yeah pray for me fingers crossed Everything crossed. Fit check. Yeah. Whee. Outfit check. What are the vibes? Shoes are hockers. Leggings are Tala. Top is covered in deodorant and also Tala. So yeah, let's go walkies. It's only going to be like half an hour of walking on a treadmill, but got to close those rings, you know? Also, you know, want to get some more stippies in. Oh yeah, got it. Sunshine. I think I'm gonna make some sort of like red pesto chicken and veggies for tea and it turns out I don't have any pasta I thought I did so I'm probably gonna end up having like some toast with it which is not ideal but this is where we're at and then a hot chocolate because I found the options vegan hot chocolate so that oh and I've got chocolate chocolate you smell that now? Is I've got the shakes, which isn't actually good. I got off the treadmill early because I felt unwell. So let's eat some food. And yeah, so chicken. Is it the healthiest? Is this ideal? No, but oh, it's so good. Mm, so good. Mm, mm. <laughs> and then go to bed and I tend to turn my phone off at about 8 39 and then never look at it again so in camera so I can do my evening routine <laughs> but yeah so I hope you enjoyed this day in the life I hope it gave you a little insight into what I do 
as a model in the day and everything like that, model slash content creator. And yeah, so don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.